Hey YouTube followers, it's week four. Um, happy leap, bleep day, leap day, leap day, right? <laughs> um, sorry about being late. My boyfriend was sick and things came up and yeah, kind of awful. I feel bad about being late. Um, but in this video, I wanted to talk about, um, uh, this, this evening, my partner and I ended up going to, um, a speaking event, um, with this guy named Zach Walls, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with his video, but it's so inspiring, um, he talks about having two gay parents, um, both of his mothers and their impact on his life, and, um, it's really, it's an awesome video, um, I have his autograph, <laughs> but yeah, definitely check out um, him. He also has a book. It's on sale in April. I know this is like backwards, but this just gives you an idea. Um, and I'll have a link. I'll post it when I post my video. Um, so you can check him out because it was great um, hearing him talk. Um, he talked about family and what it means to be a family, um, which is really important for me because his video really inspired me and uh, reassured me. Um, that my sexuality is not going to affect the content of my children's character. Um, it's not going to be a problem, you know, like, I do want kids, and I'm going to be open with them, and I don't want my sexuality to affect them in any negative way whatsoever or change who they are. Um, so seeing him, um, a son of two lesbian parents, that was... It was really reassuring, and it made me feel good. Um, and it was awesome hearing him talk. Um, he's also um, the child of um, AI, which is artificial insemination, um, which is kind of like IVF, um, which means in vitro fertilization, which is actually, um, I'm a child of IVF. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with that, um, that means that you know, either your mother or your father cannot have kids, so they get um, a donor to, um, you know, help you out. So I am, both Zach and I are children of sperm donors. So I don't know who my dad is. Well, I mean, I don't know who my f biological father is, but I mean, I know who my dad is, and that's all that matters to me. Um, and I think that it made me feel really good because I saw he had he, you know, he had the same views as I did. You know, he doesn't have a dad, but he has two moms, and you don't need a dad to tell you that, you know, you are, um, you know, to teach you courage and um, loyalty and how to be strong. Anyone can do that, whether you're male or female, um, which made me feel good. And it was great because... He, you know, he's obviously a feminist. He grew up with two lesbians, um, which was awesome. And obviously, my partner is a feminist in the truest sense of the form. So it made me feel good knowing that um, if my partner and I were, like, were to ever have kids, that, you know, it would be okay. Um, the issue, which um, Zach Walls had talked about tonight... Um, was, you know, how do gay people have kids because they cannot procreate themselves. Um, so they talked about, like, AI and IVF and whether or not they can raise children morally because being gay is immoral. Um, but that also brings a question. He didn't talk about this, but what happens if you're transgender? How does that affect you? Um, being transgender, you're not really able to have children. I mean, you are if you, if you're an FTM, which is female to male. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, which is female to male. Um, if you freeze your eggs, you're able to have children of your own. But right now, my partner and I would not be able to have um, kids. Um. So, yeah. But there's other ways you can do it, too. Um, MTFs. 
might be, I mean, don't quote me on it, I'm not really, I don't have any friends that are MTFs, I'm not, I don't know, are any of you guys out there MTFs? Why don't you tell me how this happens? How would you guys have kids? Um, same. Same way? Mm -hmm. Freeze your sperm? If you're comfortable with it. That's the issue. Your partner has to be comfortable with it. Um, which, I mean, it, there's different ways, but you can still, a marriage should not be based on, um, a, a marriage is not based on the fact <clears throat> whether or not you can have kids accidentally or on purpose. A marriage is just the union of two people who love each other. Um, and it shouldn't be just for, you know, a man and a woman. It should be for a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, a woman and someone that is transgender, or a man with the, someone with transgender, or two transgenders. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just two people who love each other, and I think that's a real big issue. And um, I know a lot of college students, they said that the statistics are that 70% of college students... Um, agree with equality for marriage but it's just usually it's they talk about gay marriage i want to know what you guys think about transgender like transgenders getting married and having kids it's like what is your views on that obviously if you're watching this video you must be okay with it um clearly i am because my partner's fdm um but yeah um, that, you definitely check out that video. It's probably one of my favorite videos. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Hmm. What else did I want to talk about? I don't know. But, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, like, friends in the room, and I, like, needed to get this done. Um, but, yeah. So, update... If you guys want to hear an update, I'm just going to give it to you. Um, <laughs> um, I don't even, I don't even think I have an update. <laughs> I don't okay, think anything yeah. new has, has anything new happened? Mm -hmm. Nothing new's happened? Mm -hmm. I'm getting built. Oh, oh, okay, here's an, oh, okay, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm just, like, all over the place tonight. Um... A topic we could talk about is <laughs> your partner and um, their view on themselves as they're transitioning. Um, my partner is becoming more and more comfortable with himself, but he is, um, oh, okay, all right. Okay, now I know exactly what I'm going to talk about, and this is um, a really big issue for me. Um, so my partner is, has been working out because, you know, it makes him feel good about himself, and also he enjoys working out. He was a very active person in high school. Um, you know, he did lots of sports, so it's great that he's, you know, off of, um, bed rest from his top surgery, so now that he can work out. And, um, last night, he, um, or the other night, last night he told me, though, or maybe it was today, he told me today. That last night when he was at the gym, um, so he's bench pressing. Mind you, he's, you know, my partner is my height, my size. So he's starting from the beginning. He has to start all over again because he wasn't able to work out because binding, um, which is when you wear, it's like, it looks like a, like a cami or like a tank top or something that compresses your chest. Um, and it causes a lot of strain. Huh? Underworks? Um, if any of you FTMs out there are looking for them, um, my partner suggests going to Underworks. Um, it's a really great place to get them, but it compresses your chest, and what happens is it causes a lot of back and shoulder problems, so my partner had to stop working out when he started binding, and, um, which upset him, um, but now that he, you know, he doesn't have to wear binders anymore, he's off of his six weeks of bed rest from his surgery, so he started working out again. And obviously, he ha he has to start small. He has to. He's a small guy. You know, he's trying to get built again. He's trying to gain muscle. But he doesn't want to exert himself. And he, he can't hurt himself. So, I guess he was bench pressing. And um, he had had his headphones off. And a bunch of guys were standing there. And they had were, like, looking over at him. 
and my boyfriend overheard him being like, oh my god, like, look at, like, how small he is, and, like, look how little he's bench pressing, like, saying stuff. Um, and I know that they didn't know, like, that he's transgender, or that, like, you know, like, there's a reason for him starting off so small, but it just, like, made me really upset, the fact that, like, people can be so ignorant and just, like, be like, I just jump to attack someone that they, like, just because someone's different than you and, like, you're just seeing them, like, you don't know who they are, you don't know their background, what gives you the right to judge someone? Like, why judge a book by its cover? Like, you don't know the person, you don't know why they're doing that. You know, you see someone on the streets and they're in rags and you're making fun of them, like, oh my god, they look awful, like, you don't know, that person, that person could be in rags because they got kicked out of their house for being, like, gay or lesbian or some other, just anything. Um, so it made me really upset, um, to see that my boyfriend hadn't been doing anything wrong and he's getting criticized for working out. Hey, at least he's working out, you guys, like, it's not like he's trying to be a bum, like, he's trying to, like, better himself and make himself feel better and, like, you think that the guys have been, like, I, I don't know, it's just, it just really upset me. Um, so that's, like, it's hard to see your partner go through that, um, but all you can do is just support them, um, and for you FTMs out there, like, don't, or, like, MTFs, I, don't, don't be discouraged when you're put in a position where people are gonna judge you, maybe not, like, you know, like, oh, they look, they look like a man or they look like a woman, like, not on your gender, but they're gonna judge you on, like, you know, like, how, what you're wearing or, um, you know, like, how buff you are, like, it's, it's all superficial, so it doesn't even, like, the fact of the matter is, whether my boyfriend is built, whether my boyfriend is overweight, whether my boyfriend is skinny, I'm going to love him no matter what, and that's all that matters to me. And that's all that should matter to him is how he feels about himself. He should, and just don't let what, you know, other people say get to you. That's all I can really say is don't let that change what you think of yourself. Um, um, what else? Oh, and so my, also my partner, um, oh, honey, honey. Yeah. What was that? My, oh, so, um, what was that website? There, my boyfriend also, I know I had, I had told you about underworks for binders. Um, there's also, like, packing. The website for packing. What was the website for packing? There's this really awesome website in... Toolshed. Toolshed? Yeah. The one that emailed you? I think so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, my boyfriend had, um, ordered, um, like, some, like, underwear and like packing um stuff packing by the way is when you use a dildo or like in and it comes with like special underwear so that you can wear it um it's for ftms um and he found this really great website and he had ordered stuff and um i think it was like the owner of the website or the creator or whatever um emailed him and had offered to switch out a couple of, like um one of the things that he had ordered for a different style and of no charge so my boyfriend could check it out because and I thought that was awesome like that was so nice I just want to say thank you to the guy that did that because that's actually my boyfriend's favorite pair now <laughs> um but they have really good deals on there and um it's good quality and I know a lot of um on the transgender like underwear like the packing stuff sometimes they'll have like <laughs> Like, it says, like, some of them have to say, like, trans wear in rainbow on the outside. They changed that. Now it's on, like, the inside of the underwear. So it's not, you're, like, if you like if your underwear comes up a little bit, like, because I know guys think it's cool to show their underwear. Um, <laughs> it's just a guy thing. Just live with my, it. My partner says that's just a guy thing. But, um, but, yeah, if your underwear shows, you don't have to worry about them, like, seeing, like, trans wear and rainbow and you being like oh my god <laughs> like if if you're passing why would you why would you want someone to see i mean like 
great, that's great if you're opening, but if you're, if you're open and, like, out, but if you're not open and out, I wouldn't want someone seeing me wearing trans wear in giant letters and in rainbow. Like, that's, like, your eyes are gonna go directly there because it's bright neon. <sighs> um, but, yeah, no, the website's great. They gave them a great deal. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. That's it for for this video. Um, but I'm actually doing a double feature tonight. Um, so in a couple hours, I'll come back. Um, and my next ep this episode, this the part two, um, will be um about sex and like all the things that come with sex and with you know being transgender. Um, and I'll probably do like a, a more of an update. Like I'll have. <laughs> This break will give me time to think of, like, what's happened in the past, like, week. Um, but yeah, um, I will see you guys in, like, two hours. Alright, bye. Bye. Where's the button?